Okay, so, you know, everything was locked down, shut down. Are you guys good? You guys want to continue your conversation? <laughs> you good? Okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> Felt like we were at Wimbledon there for a second. Um, uh, okay, so, where's the camera going? This is getting crazy. Um, uh, so, we've been locked down, and it was great. You had your dog sitting on your lap the whole time and everything, and it was wonderful. And I've been thinking about this. We're all starting to go back into the wild and our dogs are going to be freaked out. Charlotte Reed joining us right now. She is a pet trendologist in the greatest hey. of them all. So Charlotte, what do you think about this? Are dogs going to be sad and depressed and crazy while we're gone? Well, I think it's really the concept of going back to school because we have all these kids that are not going to be home. They're mm -hmm. going to be going back to school and our pets are going to be lonely and they're going to get depressed. So how do we, how do we stop them from being depressed? Well, you know, just like humans, physical activity is a great, great stimulant. It gets you up, it gets you moving, it gets you feeling better. So I always say, you know what, start out with a good walk. But, you know, a walk is great, but, you know, you have to have a good leash and collar. So that's really important. A good training leash is not going to contribute to pulling. It'll enhance that relationship. You'll want to go out with your dog. So that's awesome. The other thing that you want to consider doing is keep your dog physically and mentally stimulated with great intelligent toy games and foraging games. I love these games because you can hide treats in here and they can just bat and, and actually get the treats out. Same thing with this one. This one's a little bit more complicated. You start out slow and then you work up to the real intelligent game. The other thing is really to keep toys happy is you want to give them some toys. So I got some back to school toys. See, okay. we got the teacher's pet teacher's right pet. here. Okay, I like I got that. Dressed in a costume, he's a school bus. Makes it all fun. <laughs> and what I'd like to do with these toys is I like to put them in the hamper at night because that way they pick up the smell of the kids who are going back to school and then throw, put them in the dryer for a little bit and they get warm. And then when I go out and the kids go back to school, the dog has these nice warm toys to cuddle with. Those are probably for your puppies or your older toys when when you know when uh, when you're where they're home alone. Now, what is the name of your dog here? This is Hammy. He's a two-year-old English toy spaniel, and he's dressed like a school bus because we got to keep the theme up. <laughs> uh, also, I cannot wait for the next Transformer movie. I didn't think the dogs transformed into a bus. That is something. That's something right there. A what bus one minute, a pet the next. <laughs> what about, you know, them leaving like a little puddle in your house? You know what sure. I'm saying? Well, like you know what? A lot of times I always tell pet owners it's always a great idea, whether you have a dog that's house trained or not, you, emergencies happen, it's always a good idea to have potty pads or wee wee pads on hand, you know, just keep them just in case there's a storm, you have to evacuate, something comes up. And you know, today, anything can happen, True. like you were saying, the mm -hmm. pandemic and anything else. So keep some wee wee pads. Also, it's a great time to have, you know, for dogs to be stressed out. So a lot of people are doing what they do for themselves. They're taking CBD. They're taking herbal remedies. They're also using plug-in diffusers. That's fine. Actually, um, if you have a destructive pet, you want to think about a crate, for example. Mm. Now, just make sure this is a small crate. I just used it to have an example of one. But make sure if you do buy a crate, your dog can turn around, stand up, be comfortable inside. And it's always a great idea, especially if you even have workmen come into the house, then you don't have to worry about dog bites or anything or the you know anything happening but really uh i stick a nice crate mat in here i, I don't know if you could see this but hammy has a back to school crate mat oh, right cute. here it's got back to school little characters dogs and books um so you know so these cute. are all the kind of things that you can do really just to keep your pet really happy and healthy and and really enjoy the time and you know what hey if you have some time Take an obedience class with your dog. Get mm. him in school. Okay. That always makes sense. And you're, you know what? You got you and your dog can make new friends, have someone to go to the dog park with, maybe even meet the doggy partner of your dreams. Oh, there you I go. There you go. Thank you very much, Charlotte Reed. We appreciate that. By the way, uh, wee pads for the studio would be good because this show is six and a half hours long. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what? I'm going to send you some wee wee pads. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye. Stick around. Bye -bye. We'll get more in the show coming up. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers, more than meets the eye.